Vegan Farmer, and today we're going to address an issue which is the spotty uh, blight that we have. And today we have, I picked up, if you go to Home Depot during the beginning of the season for tomatoes, you can sometimes find a cell pack, and in that cell pack will be six plants for $350. It's pretty pretty decent deal, you know, because they, these plants right here are 350, and I looked through them and I found some that had two, and I actually found one that had like four plants in it. So that's not a, that's not terrible. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate these out, put them in these cups here, and the reason I bought these was because they're a wilt resistant plant, and I did a video on you know the virus uh, the wilt virus and this is a I took a screen grab with my phone and uh, this is the variety it's a BHN 602 it's a hybrid tomato and it's supposed to be wilt resistant so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these uh, I got a little overhead cam here I'll show you how I do it this this is the one with four in it so what we'll end up doing is probably ripping these apart. Let me grab a pair of scissors real quick. And I grab a knife real quick. And uh, what we'll do is we'll cut these pots out. So I've already prepared uh, these larger containers here. These are, I'd say, a little bit better than a quart size. They're not quite a gallon size, but I figured, what the hell? Go ahead and try to um, get these established pretty high in the pots. Mulch around the base of, of the tomatoes so that any water that might potentially splash up won't trans, uh, transfer that virus because it's a soil-borne virus. So the goal is to get these guys to maturity and obviously and have uh, and save the seeds for next year because you can damn sure save seeds. If they don't cross pollinate, you'll have a pretty true strain. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut this off of there right quick, like that. And I think it just falls right off real nice. And try not to disturb the soil too much. I mean the root system too much. So that's that. So, come in here and real gingerly, try not to. That should be good right there. And then take our little spade here. I've already put in this uh, container some Osmocote. So get that guy in there. And this is the, the Lambert's peat moss that I like to use. Now we only have like 10 of these guys, so I can put some excess in there because this is a quite a bit right here of so, a soil that's gonna go in this pot. So do that, let's do a little bit more back here. Smoosh it down a little bit, get that firmed in good. So that's one of them, and I'm going to go ahead and I probably could do a time lapse of how to do this, but uh, this one's another double. So, and it's good if you let these things dry out. Last night I was down here and they were super dry, and I'm like, oh, let's give them a little bit of water, which could, could make it a little more difficult because of the weight of the soil when you're dealing with it. Let me see here, let me get over here. Just take your hand and come right in there in between the two plants. Pull them apart without, hopefully without disturbing them too much. There, oh boy. That guy there. Let's go ahead and take a little bit out. There. Now obviously if you bought, you know, if you weren't cheap like me 
and just buy nice individual ones, you'd be able to make the transfer and they probably would probably do better, but you know, these things are pretty hardy. You know, honestly, this is about a month's worth of growth right here. And it's mid-January, I think it's the uh, 10th, and not quite mid-January, but you know, you just getting toward the end of the season, you still got about three months. I mean, they'll mature. I'll probably start some more from seed. The bench is completely empty of anything of value because I haven't done a whole lot of potting up of anything. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and might as well just go ahead and take that out there. And there's this guy right here. This one's really wet. I watered this one last night. The other two weren't terrible. This one's this one's bad. So I just pull that apart. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's soaked. Just rip it apart, just nice and easy. Lay that one down, got my hole already ready to go. Probably make it a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, I just wanted to, to make a note, and it's pretty much common sense, but when you're dealing with a virus, you don't want to go in and use, like, say, your gloves that, I mean, I would love to have gloves on right now because, you know, I don't like getting my fingernails too dirty. I mean, I'm not real prissy about it, but, you know, the gloves that I have potentially could have that virus on the leather. I don't know how long it will live without a host or anything of that nature, but it's like I'm not willing to take the chance. I want to have... I want to have one, one more round of tomatoes. This year I'm doing four, four rounds of tomatoes. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll just do a little walk around and show you how bad it is. It's pretty bad, you know, a lot of it's my fault. Now this guy has got four of them in there. So, we'll go ahead and see, this is not gonna be, this is not gonna be great, but these are all so small. And let's move this guy over here. This guy under the... What I need to do is get me a little... I don't know. I don't think we'll have that much extra dirt, but we'll go ahead and bring a pot over here. Because this guy's right here, and this would be good to put the debris in anyway. Into the cleanup. Oh yeah, this guy's soaked back underneath the camera here and put that guy there let's go ahead and make my little holes we only have four here so let's do it by the time I separate all four of these there's not going to be a whole lot of soil involved with these guys shake the soil out this is what I would do with this guy right here it's super, super wet Try to shake the soil out like that. Oh my goodness. Oh. And so you can see there's the root system. And that's looking pretty good. These three are really bunched tight together right there, but I think they'll be fine. So we'll just do one at a time. Pull that apart. Pretty good example of how you can salvage the, not disturb the roots too terribly. And put that in there. This guy's right here. Slowly separate these guys. All right. Three. Oh, right. Here. All right, not the prettiest, 
application but should be good to go what are these guys keep them away from any of the other plants with the blight and let them get up pretty substantially so the goal is to let them get up pretty substantially maybe 12 inches high strip the lower leaves off and then you know plant them mulch them right away before you turn the water system on so that's that guys let's see what happens with these hybrids I called a buddy of mine that's in the landscaping business and he saves containers and I was like hey do you got any quart size containers or any one gallons and he had these with the trays I said that'll work beautifully all right guys clay pike vegan farmer appreciate you tuning in if you like it give me a thumbs up check back in and we'll see how these guys make out and see uh these guys I believe are going to be 10 to 12 ounce size tomatoes which is a decent size you know it's not massive by any means but um, you know sometimes bigger is not always better all right guys talk to you next time y'all take care